So what we explored in our study was looking at what if we took a patient before we did a Dick's Hall Pike and we loaded the debris towards the cupola. To effectively load the debris, we want to flex the patient's head 30 degrees forward in the plane of the canal, and that shuffles the debris towards the cupola to load it prior to testing. So we do this loading phase and we hold them forward 30 seconds because you can see you want to let all the particles settle towards the cupola before testing. And now when we go to drop the patient back, so we do our Dick's Hall Pike, the dependent phase, drop them back, and now we have particles that have a longer period of time to move at their maximal rate through a longer distance. Mm -hmm.